Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an unboxing of this month's Sephora Play Box. This is the April 2017 box. I literally just got back from the mailbox. It's not even opened yet. Like I haven't even opened it, so I have no idea what's inside. It's going to be completely different because most of the times I get the box in the mail and I open it or I look through it a little bit and then I'll film a video, but I couldn't do that this time. I was really excited, so I'm just going to film it now. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, please subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just used some tweezers to open up the box and this is what this month's box looks like when you open it. It's really colorful. I like it. It says... April 20, 2017, Step It Up. Stellar products are only the beginning. You can, remember, you can always use this card to get extra um, Beauty Insider points. It gives you 50 extra points. So, this is what the bag looks like. It says, the best things in life are me. Um, not the cutest bag. I'm not really a fan of it. I don't like the little girl woman thing on the front. I don't really care for that. I think they have cuter bags. But we're just going to open it and grab something out. Of course, I would grab perfume. This is, oh, well, this is a really good perfume, actually. This is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And I actually really want to buy the full version of this. It's very hard for me to buy a full version of perfume, especially something like this or the Flower Bomb because they're so expensive. It's like, why, why buy that when I get to use my Bath and Body Works sprays? But obviously the quality is completely different. But I really actually like the, uh, not Flower Bomb. I like Flower Bomb, but the Daisy is actually really nice. So let's glad we got a sample of that. And then we have the... Kate Somerville. I know she does skincare. Exfoli Kate Intensive Exfoliator. Okay, if it's intense, I don't know if I'll be able to use this because anytime I use any type of intensive exfoliator right now on my skin, since it's been super sensitive, I don't know if it'll work very It normally irritates my skin, makes it really red and dry. So I'm not too sure if I'll use this, but it is nice. There's a high-end skin product in there. And then we have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I actually have the full size of this, which I kind of like, kind of don't like. I feel like it doesn't do very much for me. Um, I don't know if maybe it's just because I don't have big pores. I don't have oily skin. You know, I'm pretty just normal to dry person. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I'll still use it. I obviously still use my full size one, but I would repurchase it. So the next thing we have in here is, oh, oh my gosh. It's like they know me. I mean, we have to fill, we have to fill out like a little test um, when we first get the box, you know, given their skin type or skin color or hair type, you know, different things like that. And this is a Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. Hydration up to 72 hours for all skin types. So yeah, I literally just said I have normal, dry, flaky skin. It's really bad and um, this will be nice. I hope I don't like it though because it's probably very expensive. It says for best results, apply twice daily to face and neck with continued use. Um, so it's just like a moisturizer, I'm assuming. So I'll go sit here and check. Ooh, oh, I love the way this month's little uh, pamphlet looks. Look how cute it's all laid out. Oh, that is way cuter than the other months. So the Peter Thomas Roth moisturizer um, just says the innovative ingredients here, hyaluronic acid in something with a C, attract moisture and lock it in. So basically like a fancy moisturizer. The Kate Somerville exfoliator, it says use one to two times a week, apply a thin layer, layer to wet face and massage in circular motion for 30 seconds. For more intensity, leave on for up to two minutes, rinse and pat dry. And Smashbox primer is, you know, normal thing. Oh, okay. So the um, notes on the Daisy Marc Jacob perfume, if you're wondering, the top notes are violet leaves and wild strawberries. The middle notes are violet petals and jasmine and base notes are musk and vanilla. I love all that stuff. So I know I love the perfume. And then the, sorry, my phone keeps going off. It's my makeup loving cousin. So, <laughs> I sent her a picture of some of my um, stuff I have like down here that, you know, this is a mess down here from filming earlier and y'all can't see that. So I sent her a picture of that. And then we have the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil in M10. So I'm assuming it's black. It's just one of their like coal eye pencils. Yeah, it's just a black eye pencil. This will be nice because I have really watery eyes. I'm always looking for a new eye pencil that will actually stay in my waterline. I've heard the Arden CN one's really nice from Sephora, but then I cannot justify spending $20 on eyeliner. So I normally just deal with watery, um, whatever it's called, waterline. And then the last thing we have in here is the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. This stuff always looks so cool because it's like separated and then you shake it up and it gets mixed together. 
uh, says make sure to check the bottle first to activate the formula, then use a cotton powder Q-tip to apply on a lot long lasting and stubborn makeup for instant removal. That's nice because sometimes I, utilize, I use a waterproof mascara and I forget that I use that and I'm sitting there trying to like scrub it off at the end of the day. So it's nice. I am a really big fan of the way that this month's little pamphlet is laid out though. Like I really like it. Oh, I didn't even notice this. So on the back of it, it says a step in the right perfection. So it has like this really cute, like laid out little pamphlet. It has cleaning with meaning, nice to treat you, hydration, it's prime time blush. Like they're going off of what this little thing or this little woman has on her face right here. So this is pretty cute. I like it. It's really informative if you get confused or maybe you don't know what to do with a certain thing. And I will take this off because I'm going to use it for my points because I am going to Sephora tomorrow. I got to return some stuff that didn't work for me. And if you are curious what didn't work for me, even though it has nothing to do with this box, um, the Benefit Do the Hula and the Becca Ultimate Coverage uh, Cream Concealer in Banana. Um, the cream concealer is way too emollient and tacky for my skin. I feel like it never blends out and it sinks in my underlines really bad. But I did use the Benefit Do The Hula today and whenever I applied like any powder product on top of it, it got really patchy right here towards my ear. So I wasn't too fan of that, so I will be returning these two tomorrow and hopefully getting something else that I will like. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video of the unboxing of this month's Sephora Play Box. I like the box. It wasn't my favorite, but it definitely has good products in it that I can try out and use. I like the eyeliner. The perfume was one of them. And then this um, water drench mask I would like since I have dry skin. So I will link where you can sign up down below and also all the products if you are interested in any of them or you maybe already have one. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Please subscribe before you leave and thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.